Hi, how are you today? Hope you had a great Christmas. I'm recording this on Boxing Day. I'm pretty happy to have my painting set up on my kitchen table again because I had cleared everything off to have a Christmas dinner on the table like normal people do. <laughs> so I'm a little disorganized but managed to pull all my enough of my supplies together that I could get this painting going. I am using a mixture of leftover scrapings which turned out to be this really nice light um, violet color and I'm using a 10 by 20 Artist Loft Level 3 gallery wrapped canvas. This one is repurposed. I did put a couple of layers of the base paint over top to cover up what was underneath, underneath it before. So the colors that I'm using today are Dioxazine Purple, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, and Prism Violet. And then I am also using DecoArts Metallic 24K Gold and Pearl White separately, not mixed together like I like to do. And then I'm also using Folk Arts Treasure Gold Antique Copper. So because that antique copper has a little bit of a purple burgundy hue to it, I really wanted to see what it would look like mixed with purple shades. And I did a little swatch on a piece of um, canvas paper and really liked the way that it looked together. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try on a bigger canvas. So I'm just putting a, a line down the middle and I'm going to do kind of like a, a bow tie or a butterfly shape I'm blowing from the center out as opposed to doing my regular um, you know dragon shaped composition. I really like that antique copper. I'm hoping that this will look nice together with the purples and the violets. And blow it out to see what it looks like. The nozzle on my, the concentrator on my blow dryer, when I redid the tape on it, I think I put it on crooked. <laughs> so I'm not getting, feels like, it feels odd because I've re-taped it and I think it's crooked. It doesn't feel the same way as it did before. So I am going to Um, go down and blow this with my mouth a little bit. I like to prefer to do that off camera. I don't want my big head in the way of the camera because you can't really see what I'm doing anyway. So um, I'll go back in and, and um, work those edges a little bit. I wanted to soften this one up a little bit more and have some more tendrils coming off the edges, um, soften up those hard lines. Normally I like the hard lines, um, but with this color combination I wanted it to be really flowy and soft and feminine looking so I went in with my palette knife and kind of drug out some tendrils from it and you know messed around with it a little bit to get it to be, look a little bit more flowy and feathery um, you'll see when I show you the close-up later I think I overworked it a slight bit 
I tried to fix that center part where there's that big blotch of white. Don't like those blocks of colors, but I don't think I did a very good job fixing it. I think I probably made it worse, but I'm 90% happy with it. I think the rest of it turned out really good. Um, that antique copper is just, it worked really well, I think, with this color combination. So you can see where I kind of pulled some of the edges out just with the edge of my palette knife to I think it gave it a little bit of a little bit of interest anyways. Thanks for watching and hanging out. Bye.